Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. I know this is probably not the video that you wanted. I know all of you are anxious to get a cast, but I cannot do it because my PC is once again having issues. It seems like that this is a problem when you perpetually upgrade your PC is because you don't have nice shiny new parts on everything, so occasionally you have things fail. In my case, I started with a 600 watt um, Seasonic modular power supply, which was fantastic. I'm very happy with the Seasonic products, but over the course of upgrading my PC, I exceeded the limitations of my power supply and it zonked out on me. Um, as of my PC ceasing to function, I think I had a total system load of about 600 watts, maybe 610, which you know the effective load for what you're actually running at one time. Uh, the max I was probably pulling was about 520, but it's a, it's a little over a year old, so power supplies do get weaker as they age, so honestly it was about time for it to go out. I did not realize that I had such a heavy load that I was asking it to pull for me, so I have a nice shiny new 750 watt that is on the way to my door. I actually thought that it would be here today, but apparently it got delayed another day. So as soon as that power supply gets here and I get it put in my PC, I will have a new cast for you. Until that time, I have a little bit of backed up footage for some other stuff I've been playing. Unfortunately, no subcom footage. And my secondary PC that I'm using to pull this old video off the drive and uh, create, a, create a video with, um, it is not quite strong enough to cast with. It does have a decent graphics card, but it only has a low-end i3 processor, so running everything at the same time that I need to cast with, I wouldn't actually be able to cast a game in a usable format. It would have frame drops, it would be in somewhat low resolution, and I'm just not happy with that. So. I'm going to wait. For those of you who are loyal enough to watch pretty much every video that I put out, you will know what's going on and everybody else will be in the dark. So thank you to you guys. Now, as to the game that's going on in the background, you can probably recognize Metroid Prime. This is one of my favorite games ever. And honestly, it's a little hard to get back into the control scheme because everybody's used to two-stick first-person shooters where, you know, the left stick controls your walking and the right stick controls your viewpoint. Well, with the GameCube, there was technically a camera joystick, but not a whole lot of games really utilized that. In Metroid, you had a single stick that controlled your walking and your viewpoint, and, you know, you use the left, no, the right trigger to stand still and look around, and then the left trigger was strafing. So, it did have a pretty good system, it takes some getting used to, and at times it is a little bit clumsy for aiming, but, you know, getting back into the swing of things, I think I'll get the hang of it pretty well. This game, though, is freaking fantastic. It is huge, incredibly expansive for the time that it was made. I mean, the amount of ground that you can cover and exploring that you can do is phenomenal in Metroid Prime, and Metroid Prime 2 for that matter. And I just remember when I first started playing it on the GameCube, I was just blown away by how much space there was. I don't even know how many hours it took me to beat this game the first time around. It was hours upon hours upon hours of gameplay, and I had such a great time doing it. I would really encourage you guys to play this game if you haven't before. It is one of the greatest GameCube titles that was ever released. And you can see, this piece of footage was from early on in the game so the boss battles were not really that impressive and you're unlocking your basic abilities but later on I would like to pull some footage once I get uh, most of the way down the road on this and show you guys after I get a bunch of weapons unlocked and all that kind of stuff it is a really cool game power supplies are real buggers um, I have actually been having some stability issues for a, quite a while now and it's interesting, I love diagnosing computer problems, and I really didn't connect the dots on this until the power supply just full on went out. But I can remember about two months ago, my PC started having some very slight issues. I had one crash 
But I had so many things open at the same time, I kind of assumed that it was just one of those fluke things. And then I had the crashes that were happening when I was trying to run dual screens in a casting situation in an extremely loaded out game. And I think probably, looking back on it now, what was actually happening was when my PC was coming under the maximum stress that I put it under, um, the power supply just wasn't able to en uh, give enough wattage to keep everything running, and stability issues were popping up in the CPU and or GPU. And that's probably what's been causing some of the issues that I've been experiencing recently. So hopefully, once this power supply is replaced, everything will be back to normal and hunky-dory. Well, I really appreciate you guys sticking around and enjoying this little piece of footage with me. It does bring back a lot of memories watching these old GameCube games. I love it. And I really thank you guys for being faithful watchers of the channel. It is... I, I've said it before, but it blows me away how many people actually enjoy this channel. And I'm very thankful for you guys. You make my life awesome. It's good talking to those of you that are on FAF. And if you're not on FAF, download the client. You don't even have to have the game. Jump in chat with us. It is a blast. Aeolus is a wild play sometimes. So, yeah, I'll see you guys over there. And if not, I'll check you guys out in the next cast. See you there.